couple angles. This is gonna have to change ASAP. Hey guys, and welcome to this week's video. Um, so today we are making beer bread. Um, so we were given a whole bunch of beer. Uh, it was just this brand. Now my partner does like beer, but this is he's got he's got his favourites basically. So we have a heap of this, and he's given me permission to try and make a beer bread with. Well, I mean, you only use one, so there's plenty in there. Um, <laughs> so we've got a little creature's beer, and all you need besides beer is flour and sugar. So the recipe did say self-raising flour, and I'm using all-purpose, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so basically you want, it says 12 ounces. We have a 330 ml bottle, which is like 11 point something, 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 something ounces. Uh, three cups of flour and then a half a cup of sugar. Um, so we are just gonna mix that all into this bowl. Uh, I'm gonna do dry ingredients first, I reckon, because I don't know where Beer, a uh, bottle opener is, so we'll, we'll see that. We'll go flour first. This is a bottle opener. I hope that that caught all of that. I'm very good. I did put chip in my bench though. 12 ounces of beer. This bottle is so full. Let's just, we're gonna see how it goes. I don't know how I'm gonna mix it. Actually, what I might do. I'm gonna create a well in the middle here so that it might mix in better. Mixing it with a spoon, it's turned doughy. So now I'm going to start mixing it with my hands. Um, I was told going up to flour your hands, but I did hear a hack that if you wet your hands, it can be better. So I'm going to wet my hands and see how we go. I actually just take my watch off as well. It is waterproof, but I don't want to get beer dough. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Um, oh, I was supposed to preheat the oven. I did not. I did not preheat the oven. Okay, that took way too long. I hate my oven. <laughs> Rewet my hands. Hair up on We don't want hair in the bread. Okay. Now we go in with our handy dandy mixing skills. Clearly, I've been watching a little bit too much. Loose clues. Oh, 
pretty sure bread isn't supposed to be like this. So I'm gonna add in just a tiny bit more flour to the top. Give that a good little mix in. Just adding in a little bit. It's probably like just under a quarter of a cup. So I'm gonna try dry it over there. And try the flour trick trick now to see if that stops it from sticking to me. Like I said, I'm not going to need it for long. It literally didn't even say in the recipe to need it. So, I think that's about it. I think this is our dough bowl. So now I'm going to wash my hands again and be back. I've gone for the artistic flour on the top because I wanted to smooth it out and it looked weird. Um, and the recipe said, if you want to, you can put a little bit of butter on top. Um, and I thought that sounded good, so I'm going to do that. What's, what's up? Thanks, <laughs> Smiley. So I have just got Devendale butter. I'm just going to add a teaspoon. Grab some little dollops and put it over the top of the bread, over the top of the dough. This is what we have at the moment. <laughs> Let's try this differently. This is what we have at the moment. Now I'm gonna chuck it in the oven for 40 minutes and I'll get back to you. Okay, the timer has just gone off. It's still like, quick half went off. Um, my daughter's down for a nap, so if I'm talking quietly, that be why. I'm just gonna do the knife trick right in the middle. Clean! Cool! I'm not gonna wait for it to cool down. <laughs> so I've got serrated edge knife. We're gonna cut into it. We're just gonna have a really little slice. Oh, it feels a little doughy. Like maybe it should have been in a little bit longer. It smells like beer. It's very hot. And it smells like beer. So I'm gonna butter it. I'm quite worried. I'm gonna just try this a little bit without butter. Okay. So I've got this little slice, it's a bit thick. You can see it looks, looks quite doughy. I'm just gonna lather some butter on there. It's nice and hot. I like a lot of butter with my bread, so. Go ahead, judge away. Okay, let's try. It actually has a really good flavour to it. I'm trying to decide whether or not 
to pop it back in the oven for another 5-10 minutes. It is quite doughy. But that's not really affecting it. Hmm. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't think I'm gonna put it back in the oven. Because it is still like it's not it doesn't taste like dough, it's just like a doughy texture. I think maybe if I was to make this again, I'd put it in for 45, 50 minutes instead of just the 40. Um, yeah, this is actually really good. Like, flavor-wise, delicious. Um, and super, super easy. I can't believe that. I will probably be making this way too often now. Um, Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz, and we'll see you next Friday with another video. Or in the meantime, with some shorts. I've been making a few shorts lately for no real reason, but um, some of them are doing really well. Some of them have got like no views. Uh, so if you want to check them out, go check them out. I would really appreciate it. Uh, if not, I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye!